Lovely Coloring Friends. My name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colors. Today is one of the videos that I really love to do. It is where I tell you all about my uh, color alongs for the next month. So all of these color alongs will be for the month of April. And first up, we have a brand new one. So it has actually started already, but um, it is running through till the end of April. And it is a color along in the Matchstick Mouse Springtime Coloring Book. And the hashtag for this is Matchstick Mouse Easter 2023. So as the hashtag, implies you can color any of the Easter themed pages within this book. So I will show you the pages that um, that are Easter pages. So there's this one with the hot cross buns. I love hot cross buns. Yum, yum, yum. There is this one with the super cute bunnies. There is... This one, which I have already colored, uh, which is with the Easter bonnet. And I can't get the page, where is it? This one with the Easter egg hunt. And this one, oh no, not that one. This one where they are decorating the Easter egg. So there's five pages to choose from there. You can do one or you can do all five. Um, and the hashtag does um, last until the end of April. So you have the whole month of April um, if you haven't started already. So just post your page to Instagram using the hashtag Matchstick Mouse Easter 2023. So that's the first color along. The second color along um, is in Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez. And we've done this for a couple of months now where I've chosen, well, actually you guys have chosen a page through a poll um, on the channel um, and we've all colored it. However, I've completely forgot to put the poll up and it's too close to the end of the month now to be able to do that and then get a video out in time for people to plan ahead. So I have just gone ahead and chosen a page. I know it's a bit cheeky, but here I am. And I have chosen this jellyfish page because I think it's really cute. And here's my fun fact for this video. Um, I learned a number of years ago that they're not technically jellyfish. Technically, they should be called sea jellies um, because they're not fish. They're not from the same family as fish. So there you go. Let's color this sea jelly together. So if you color this page, um, post it to Instagram using the hashtag sea of colors color along. Make sure you double check the spelling um, so that we can all see your beautiful page. So that is our second color along. The third color along is in Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles Frogs and Friends edition. Make sure it's the Frogs and Friends edition. Uh, and this hashtag, I color along, I co-host with my beautiful friend Megan from Disney Meg's Coloring. And um, Megan has chosen the page for April. And she chose this adorable page with an egg for Easter. So I think I might try and color it to look like a chocolate egg. That could be fun. So the hashtag for this is Frogs and Friends Color Along. And once you've colored your page, simply post a photo of your completed page to Instagram using that hashtag. And the final color along that I run each month is my AC palette challenge. Now, I've had a few people contact me saying that they haven't seen their pictures in the monthly roundup. And I've gone and had a look 
and that's because the hashtag has been spelt incorrectly. So please make sure that you double check the hashtag. Otherwise, I can't just be searching for every iteration of the hashtag. So it needs to be the correct hashtag so that I can share your work. So the hashtag for our color palette is AC Palette Challenge. There's no color in there. Palette is spelt the correct way. So just make sure that you check that. So the way that we do this one is I randomly choose a palette from each box and these boxes are called color cubes and they were created by Sarah Renee Clark. So I'm just randomly going to choose, mm, try go writing in the middle somewhere. Randomly choose one from each box. Oh, okay. So they actually have some similar colors, which is interesting. However, even though it is autumn here in Australia, this one isn't floating my boat. So we're gonna go with this one because I think it can work well for both autumn and spring because the Northern Hemisphere is in spring. So we are going to go with palette number one, two, eight. And the colors we have are sky blue, light blue, yellow, amber, and copper. So um, you can use, you can color anything you like, any book, any artist, anything at all, um, but only use these colors and skin tones. That's the basic rule. And then once you have completed your page, again, take a photo and post it to Instagram using the hashtag AC Palette Challenge and we will get to see your beautiful work. Now, I will also say that you can use tints and shades of your colors. So you don't just have to use the, uh, the standard color. You can use a darker version of the same color or a lighter version of the same color. Um, and over on Instagram, I also do a breakdown of these colors in four of the most common coloring mediums. So just to help you out a little bit with um, choosing your colors to match. So that's it. They're all the color alongs for April. I really hope that you join us because I just have so much fun um, looking at everyone's pages and just how differently people interpret the same page or the same color palette. It's just, so much fun. Um, and I just hope that, um, yeah, I've had a total mental blank. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, oh, that's what I wanted to say. At the beginning of each month, I do a video where I put together slideshows of all the pages colored for the different hashtags that I host. So keep an eye out for that. And if you take part in April in any of these hashtags and you use the correct hashtag, you should see your um, colored pages in the slideshow next month. So that will be fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you want to take part. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that you can um, see all the content and not miss out on anything. All right, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.